Okay, we're good to go. Hey everyone, my name is Georgia and welcome back to my channel. Basically, I've been filming a bunch of videos today and there's been one particular video that's been on my mind for a little while and I've been debating whether to film it, whether to not film it, what to say, what not to say. I've been thinking long and hard about it and it's an important video for me to do personally for myself. And I think this video is sort of gonna help me just completely let go. A lot of things have happened to me over the last four months and some of those things you'd be aware of and some of them you wouldn't. I don't explain everything on my YouTube channel. I do share quite a lot of things because that's like the nature of my channel. I'm a lifestyle blogger so I sort of have to share. I not have to, but you know what I mean, like that's the type of thing that I share. There's a few areas of the, your life that you do tend to keep private and relationships are definitely one of those things for me. Now a lot of you guys would know from like vlogs and one of my recent Q&As, you guys all found out that um, I was actually single again and I had broken up with someone after almost two years. Now breakups are never easy and it's not a nice thing at all and since then just so many different things have been going on for me. I really want to make this video for the girls out there who are either currently going through a heartbreak, who have been and this is just something that they can relate to, or for future reference for anyone. I don't really have a structure of this video. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm currently in my sweats so you know that this is going to be just a really chill raw video of me chatting to you guys about the whole concept of breaking up pretty much. I want to make this video one for myself because I want to be able to let things go. I want to be able to say what I want to say and then just let it go. And I don't like putting negative videos up on my channel. You guys know that I try to keep this space very positive, very uplifting, motivating and just sort of sharing like my life with you guys. But in life there are some things that you have to overcome. And I feel like this is just a part of life. Yes, you know, unfortunately, most of us have been through a heartbreak or are going through one or whatever. It's such a common thing. So I thought that it would be necessary, especially to like the viewers who like subscribe to my channel. But pretty much I'm just going to open up because I haven't been completely truthful about the whole situation and I'm so glad that the person that I was with didn't have anything to do with my YouTube channel because it made that area a lot easier, if that makes sense. Um, so obviously you guys don't know who this is. I'm not naming anyone. I'm just talking about my experience personally, what I've gone through, what I'm going through, and what's going on in my head. But it would be fair to say that these last four months have been an absolute washing machine. I have been caught in a constant cycle that just keeps going, and as soon as it stops, something else starts up again. It's gotten to the point where I'm just absolutely over it. I'm not a person who likes drama. I don't like negative people. I don't like bad people, but unfortunately there are some out there and it's just disheartening when it happens to you, especially under the circumstances that they are. I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore. I have been lied to many times. I have been told so many things. I've heard so many things. I've witnessed so many things. In the last four months, I've had a lot of things chucked my way. And that's just life. Like, you know, things just happen and not everything's rainbows and sunshine. This particular incident, I'm just ready to put in a box and ship off to China because I'm over it. And I think that this video will be very relatable for a lot of people. I have come a long way um, over the last four months. I was not in a very good state of mind, I guess, at the beginning of this year because everything was sort of fresh. I was finding my feet again in the process of this relationship. This is so bad, by the way, guys. I don't copy what I did, but I lost myself trying to work so hard for someone else um, and you just can't really afford to do that. And that was completely my fault, my choice. I wanted to give someone my all, I wanted to put in 110%. The hard thing is when you're not getting that back, if there's a power imbalance and someone is working way harder than the other person, the person that's working hard is going to get worn out and is going to get fatigued and run down. And that's exactly what happened to me. And it was almost like at the time I was so caught in this like trap that I couldn't realize it even though people would tell me. I couldn't see it for myself until I got out of there and I realized. I was like, oh my goodness, like what have I done? I've I wasted so much time. I wish I could take it back, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't be the person that I am 
right now if all of those things didn't happen but in saying that I you know you don't wish for terrible things to happen to you. Basically I'm rambling a lot and I'm gonna cut to the chase because I have been messaged and heard a lot of stories and spoken to a lot of people recently in particular. People cheating on their partner is something that comes up so often. Absolutely blows my mind because I couldn't understand why someone would ever want to hurt someone like that. There is no lower point that you can go than cheating. The feeling that the person who, you know, has been cheated on, the feeling that they feel is indescribable. You feel worthless. You feel so small. And especially when it's done in like a, in a snarky environment or in a snarky way it hurts a million times more and I'm not gonna lie about that you know I'm not a I'm not a rock yeah like I, I feel things I'm a very emotional person but I do have feelings just like anyone else would cheating is something that I could never ever understand or could never imagine myself even considering because if you just don't like someone and you want to be with someone else then end that relationship like I have no problem with that but just cheating just boggles my mind I have never in my entire life fallen for someone as hard as I had and I put in all this effort and I worked my butt off I completely flipped my life upside down um, I wasn't happy um, even though I thought that I was I was living in someone else's reality. I was running around after them. I was doing all these things for them. I was making sure that what they wanted was met when the same thing wasn't done for me. And I knew that in my head, but I just kept doing it. I don't know. But this is my warning to you guys out there. If you are feeling like you're not being met halfway, there's warning signs out there. And I know that there's warning signs, but I didn't listen to them. And so I would 110% recommend listening to them because they save your butt. I have never felt so close to a person, but at the same time, so far away from them. I thought this person was like my best friend. I thought, you know, we were on the same page, that like, you know, life was awesome and that I was like on cloud nine. Yet while I was feeling all these feelings, someone who I cared so much about was, you know, getting with my friends and getting with other people and in some sort of relationship with other people at the same time as me and I obviously didn't know anything about it if I did at the time I obviously would have been like no that's not okay because I don't tolerate that at all the fact that I didn't know makes me feel so incredibly stupid that I didn't even realize because it was at a time where I wasn't feeling so comfortable anymore in the relationship and I was I was still like I don't even know how but I was still working my my butt off for this person looking back at it now just can't believe that that person would hurt me like that and would intentionally go and get with people that I know and whatever behind my back completely you know not not tell me about it or yeah it's just it's absolutely bizarre to me and even after like, there was a lot of things that were said to me from this person that were, you know, lovely and we were going to just be friends, it was going to be fine, everything was good, and I thought everything was going to be fine and that was it. And I would have been fine with that. Obviously, I would have found out about the cheating stuff later, but at the time, I was like, yep, cool, that's fine. This person that I still cared about so much, even just as a friend, was still lying to me and still going against everything that they had said to me, was talking badly about me, was, you know, not being a nice person at all. And I feel for all the girls who this happens to, because I know that it's not just me, I know there's so many people out there that this happens to. It's just, it's like, it's not okay. And I want, if anyone's watching this and they are currently being cheated on or they have been cheated on, I just want you to know that like you're not alone and it feels horrible. I completely understand. You know, it's not going to last forever and things do get a lot better. As long as you've got like a good support network, you will be fine. Like, you know, I promise you, if you have amazing friends, they will lift you up. If you have amazing family, they will lift you up. Having a good support network does the world of a difference. Being cheated on in this particular scenario isn't it's not I swore to myself that I would get through this entire video without crying <sighs> just the fact that someone can hurt you so much and say that they care about you say that they love you and you know promise that they're always gonna be there and they just they do the exact opposite and they completely just rip you to shreds I just <laughs> 
um, I think eyelashes are gonna come off. I'm not crying because I'm still connected in any way, shape or form. I have, the thing that just gets me is that this stuff associated with this keeps on happening. Things that I haven't told you guys, like things just keep coming up. I'll have a friend, you know, turn around and tell me like, you know, I, I know this person who's been with him or I've had my birthday try to be ruined. I've had, you know, all these things just crop up and people even like, people tell me things that they think that I already know because people hear one side of a story and they think that's it when that's just not the case at all. I know that there are so many worse things that can happen to you but I've cried way too many times on my channel. Something that just really gets me is I don't understand why it has to get prolonged and why you have to keep hurting someone. I know that it's not an accident um, and I know that people aren't nice and people aren't who I thought they were. You know, I've just had like a complete like, whoa, oh my god, okay. And I just wanted to come on here and just be real because I feel like there's been like this little this little gap that I, I have to keep walking around and I have to keep avoiding. It's like, it, it's consuming my head because I've avoided it for so long. And now is my chance to put it in a box and as I said, package it up, send it to China. Like I, I need to leave it here. I have so many better things coming for me and so many better people in my life. It definitely says a lot more about them than it does me. You know, it's always going to sort of be in your heart that you, you weren't good enough and that someone who you wouldn't have even thought would do that or do something of that nature to you and something someone you thought was so close to you you know that they didn't want anything that you you thought that they wanted and it's gotten to the point where I'm just like what do I actually know them was the person that I knew real or was it like fake like I just don't know where the line gets drawn and being cheated on is not a nice thing at all and I have had so many questions about it, I have had so many relationship questions and all of this stuff and people even asking about this particular situation, people that do know, and I am just so over hearing about it. I have my own life to live, I have been living my own life, you know, I've been having the time of my life, I have met some incredible people because of this and, and I have completely grown as a person because bad things unfortunately they, they happen but they make us better people at the end of the day. I just think someone's so rude and inconsiderate and childish and immature like that's not a real man like a real man doesn't cheat on people and a real man doesn't go about things like that they're not nasty they're not sneaky just you know how it is and I wanted to make this video because there are girls who message me and ask me about relationship things and you know they've had their heart broken and I know that there's people watching this who have been in the same position or they currently are in this position. I just want you guys to know that it, it's it's okay and it does get better because honestly I can say friends are everything um, and family is everything. Focus on yourself and never let yourself go for a guy or a girl. Never lose yourself for someone because at the end of the day you really don't know their intentions, you don't know the kind of person that they are, even when you think that you do. So it's definitely shaken my trust of people in general. I'm a lot more wary even of my friends, like I, <laughs> I don't want any of my friends to ever go through what I had to and I feel so bad. Well like I'm not the only one that has to deal with it, you know, my friends are affected because I'm not the same. I'm not the same bubbly person that I always am sometimes and you know they do have to help pick me back up sometimes when I'm in a bit of a slump. I just have the most amazing friends that honestly they I don't know what I would have done without them so make sure that you have a good support network no matter like what your situation is. A good support network makes a world of a difference and work on yourself like do you. Don't get caught up in someone else's life. Don't consume yourself in someone else's 
life. I mean, it's perfectly fine to fall in love. It's perfectly fine to love spending time with someone and love their life and want to help them and, and everything. But, but it's got to be equal effort. And if it's not equal effort, you've got to really think about what's going on. Now I know why I was like, so why isn't there equal effort? Because all of this was happening. I was getting cheated on, you know, all of this stuff. But just really have to stick by yourself because I say this all the time and I say it all the time on the Inspire Project. At the end of the day, you're the only one who you will always have by your side and you're the only one who is going to be there through every single thing that you go through. So be your own best friend and look out for yourself. Self-care and, you know, looking out for yourself and all those types of things isn't selfish at all. That's normal that's being good to yourself and you deserve that you deserve to always have yourself and be confident and happy and unfortunately bad things do happen but when they happen if you've got yourself you've got all that you need there are so many amazing things in life and so many amazing people out there life almost has like a completely new meaning that sounds very dramatic but I just mean that like there are so many more meanings of life that have now opened up that I'm grateful that I am able to see now. So this is just me fleshing out my mind. You guys know I'm here to support you 110% no matter what. I am always here for you guys. If you ever need to send me a message, I'm more than happy to talk to you. Thank you for all the lovely messages that I have received. You guys are seriously amazing. And thank you to all the amazing, beautiful people I have in my life that have gotten me to the state that I am in right now. I didn't want this to be like a mushy, cheesy video, but this is just me. It's a bit of a mess, but me fleshing out what's been going on, what I've sort of kept from you guys, um, and what I feel, I already feel so relieved to just be able to get it out there. It will explain a lot of things, probably things from earlier in the year that I like I used to get like questions like you seem like really withdrawn and like you know all these all these things that I couldn't really say anything about because I'm not that kind of person to be like yeah well this happened um I don't name names I'm not that kind of person I'm just here telling you guys what's been happening for me what's been going on and just being completely raw and honest with you guys that's my promise to you on this channel you guys will always get honesty you'll always get me this is me right here on your screen if people don't like that that's completely fine but you know I love me I'm doing me I'm enjoying life and I hope you guys are too because you guys are incredible and once you really believe in yourself and you back yourself, you're unstoppable. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm sending you all my love. Sorry that I've been a mess. But the next video you see will not be sad, not negative in any way, shape or form. It's upwards and onwards from here and I will talk to you guys all then. Bye guys. <laughs>